I'm here just to show you that. The power of an adjustment layer is still alive. If you think that an adjustment layer is just something used for color grading. That is not true! In this video, I will show you four creative ways of using an adjustment layer in Filmora 12. So let's get started. So for the very first thing guys, I'm going to show you how you can create the old film flash transition using an adjustment layer. So drag and drop the adjustment layer preset onto the track above your videos. If you would like to follow me along, set your project to 25 FPS. So now reduce this adjustment layer to 22 frames. Then double left click and go color. Under color, set the vibrance and saturation to minimum. Then under light, set black to 35. Then move your playhead 5 frames, and then add a keyframe on color and also on light. Now move your playhead 7 frames. Under color, adjust the exposure and brightness to 60. And then under light, adjust the highlight to 70. As you can see the next keyframe automatically appeared. So now after the next 7 frames, reset exposure and brightness. The reset highlights under light. After the next 5 keyframes, reset everything. Then go to the first frame and reset everything as well. Set a marker on the middle keyframe to indicate the middle part of your two videos. So let us see the preview. So you can copy this adjustment layer and paste it wherever you want this transition, and you can also save it as custom for future projects. So let's check out the second creative way of using an adjustment layer. So if you guys are getting some value in this video, I will kindly ask you to subscribe to help this channel. I have this video in my timeline, A Man in a Jungle. Now let's add the cinematic black bars with a cool animation. Drag and drop an adjustment layer onto the track above. Go effects and search for crop. Drag it to an adjustment layer. Double click and go for adjustment layer effects. Set the bottom and the top crop to 16.2. Then move your playhead a second after and then add a keyframe on bottom and top. On the very first frame, reset both. So let's check how it animates. And you are done. Coming on to number 3. Now if you have a text on your video, which may not be as visible as you want, an adjustment layer can do the job. So we want to add a well-animated blur background to this text. Go effects and search for square blur. Drag it to the adjustment layer. I can adjust some settings. So now under layer and basic, click the scale locker and then from the preview window, adjust the scale according to your text. For an animation, add a keyframe. Six frames back, add the opacity keyframe. And on the first frame, Drag your adjustment layer like this. And then reduce the opacity. Let's check the preview for this. Let's go ahead and check out the fourth creative way. 
One of my viewers asked, hi, maybe you know how I can add an effect just for the title on the video? I referred him here. This video was about the top 5 effects for texts, and right at the end I mentioned how you can add an effect only to a text without affecting the video behind it. So now after a closer look on Filmora version 12, I have seen that there can be another way also to do this. So let me show you. Let me just add my text on this video. So go effects and choose any effect you want. For this example, I will take the glitch stripe too. If you would like to do some adjustments, you can double click and go effect, here you can adjust according to you project. So as you can see the effect is affecting everything under the adjustment layer. So you double click, go layer. And under basic, tick the scale lock to have it unlocked. Then you can now adjust the size of your adjustment layer according to your text. Just try to make it as close as it can be. So now you have seen how you can do it using an adjustment layer, so just check out here and watch the method I explained last time, and then you will choose which method is good for your editing.